Uh, welcome to part 4 of uh, my Erlang tutorial. In this part I will be talking about tuples. Uh, what are the tuples? Uh, how to create tuple uh, and how to access tuple element. So uh, basically if you want to group a fixed number of items into a single entity uh, you are using tuples. So in C you would use probably structs in Python you would use also two tuples, but basically you want to enclose some yeah, items into a single entity and uh, then use it in your program. So how to create tuple in Erlang? Let me switch to Erlang shell. Let's say we have a profile. Mm. Uh, this profile will have some ID maybe one and the username let's call it Mike and now the profile to profile variable I assigned the tuple which contains two values one and Mike so here you can see that I can have different data types inside the tuple this is the tuple of two elements. Um, now, now profile has only two elements and it could be hard for me in my program if I have a lot of tuples to identify what this tuple represents. Therefore, good practice in Erlang is to use also at atom as a first element of tuple to describe uh, what this tuple represents. So in this case, I could write something like profile one and here I will write profile which says to me okay this tuple represents profile so by checking this first element of the tuple I can say okay this is the profile um, I can now write maybe new profile uh, Mike uh, or maybe John and I have my new tuple with three elements and now the first is an atom which says that this tuple represents user profile. Uh, I can also build tuples which con contains tuples. In this case maybe I will show you with an example of message. Maybe I'll call it, call it message1 and the atom will tell me that this is message it, uh, this data structure represents the message and I want to have in this uh, tuple three uh, uh, things first for example profile profile one and hello there so this this is the message which says, for example, that uh, this is the message which says that this message was sent by Mike to John and the message text is hello there. Um, so now how to access tuple uh, values. To access the tuple value, I can write something like ID username profile so this will do the pattern matching and uh, now uh, ID will can, can uh, will will be equal to one and the username will be equal to Mike so as you can see I extracted values from profile like this so on the uh, left hand side I'm specifying what kind of values I I'm interested in from this tuple and uh, I'm assigning it to ID and the username. Now let's say that my tuple is very complex and I'm not interested in extracting all the values to the variables. I can write something like this. And here I'm saying that I want to skip, I, I'm not interested in the first value of tuple, I just want to take the username from this tuple. 
and now username is Mike. Username one is Mike. Um, you're probably also interested how to extract values from such tuple. It's quite uh, complex. So let's see. Uh, in this case, I could write something like I'm not interested, of course, in the. Okay, I, I can write message to make sure that uh, this will the pattern matching will ensure that I'm I try to extract the message. Now I'm not interested in the profile uh, which sends the message and the profile to which message was sent. I'm just interested in the text. So I can type something like this: text and message one. And uh, it's extracted, so let's see now. Yeah, I extracted text to this uh, variable text. In case I want to extract some from the message, I want to extract, for example, the from profile, I could write something like, like this um, profile. I'm not interested. Um, maybe something like from pro profile. I'm not interested in to profile and I'm not interested in message. So I ju just skip it and I will write here message one. And now my from profile will be equal to exactly uh, one and uh, yeah, the, the, the Mike's profile. And now the last thing I would like to show regarding tuples is how to extract from this tuple. Uh, let's say I have this complex tu tuple which has a message. It's a message from. It has message uh, the, the from profile. Who said who sent this message? To whom the message was sent? What was the message? I, I'm just interesting interested in what is the ID of the person. Uh, to whom the message was sent. So in this case, I can write something like message. I'm not interested in from profile. I'm interested in two profiles. So I can write something like this. I'm not interested in message. Mm, message one. And here I need to specify the following. I want to ensure that this will be profile. Mm, and I wanted to extract ID to ID, let's call it like this, and I'm not interested in name. And uh, in this case, to ID will be equal to two. Uh, some error. Okay, I, I forgot about this dot. And now to ID is equal to two. So as you can see with the pattern matching, I can do some uh, extractions of the data inside my tuple and I can, yeah, it's also quite easy to create tuple. Uh, it's very dynamic. I don't need to sp specify my tuple structure before uh, up front. And uh, in the future, I will also show how to use tuples uh, for yeah, more advanced use cases. So thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next videos.